he went around that perimeter and basically ran off a cliff. Normally speaking, he's one of those dogs that you'll tell him to stay and he does a little crouching over, crouching over and ends up on the couch before you know it. And he was supposed to be somewhere in the kitchen, you know, that kind of thing. He's one of those. He's the sweetest dog. I mean, he's so gentle, really sweet. There's not a glimmer of viciousness I've ever seen out of this dog. Bruin ran out to the front yard. Where we are, we're in a cul-de-sac and to the right of us is a fire road and at the top is a water tower. He went running up, I went chasing after him. The water tower has a chain link fence around the perimeter. He went around that perimeter and basically ran off a cliff. So I went running back down. I immediately posted a post on Facebook in the neighborhood. My wife and Tatiana are school parent friends. As soon as Tatiana put it on social media, I got suckered in by my wife. So we spent six and a half hours driving about 50,000 acres of undeveloped land with no luck. And that's where we kind of realized there's a lot of cliffs here. Had he fallen at any one point, he's down in this canyon. As I get out to the road, I see this dog off to the rear of my car. He was severely injured, but he kind of found the safety of my car. So Rebecca is his wife, and so she gets a call. She goes, oh my God, oh my God. And she starts screaming and she goes, we gotta get down there now. And yeah, get in the car. We're all screaming. And I'm holding him because that back leg is doing things no leg should ever do. When we pulled up to the access specialty, they quickly came out. They immediately knew that he had a broken femur and a collapsed lung. He had a tremendous amount of trapped air in his lung cavity. So there's a good chance the doctor said that, you know, he's going to have a severe limp when he gets better. But I mean, amazingly, flash forward now, you know, several months and everything is fantastic. Back to normal. Some of these bills, you know, can get quite high, obviously. So it's a must. I mean, if you have a pet and you care about your pet. As injured as he was and looking at this fall, which is about 430 plus feet down, he managed to crawl himself out to survive this. I mean, this guy's got nine lives, no question. Our pet's name is Bruin and Nationwide is always on our side.